Hello and welcome to this Flame Guitars video. My name is David Kennett and you join me today in my South London workshop. Now, one of my regular customers has just acquired this second-hand PRS. This is a 10 top and as you can see, it's in very nice playing condition. But the frets are very warm, particularly in that second to ninth fret area. And so the question was whether this needs full refret or whether a fret level and a fret dress will be sufficient to bring it back to optimum playing condition. I'm confident that all this needs is some fret dressing, fret leveling. Uh, and so in this video, I'm gonna show you how I do that. So let's get the strings off and look at the frets in a bit more detail. So hopefully the camera is, is picking up quite how flat these frets are. So string wear over the years just flattened off the top of these frets, as well as leaving some fairly deep grooves, particularly over where the G and the B string run along the, the fret. And if we look at the fretboard down this end where there's very little wear, then you can sort of see these are nicely shaped, nicely domed. And what we want to do is, is recreate that shape further down here. Uh, and to do that, I'm gonna be using this tool, which will just help me to, let's just, just try one, one of these frets. Just, it's gonna to, going to reshape these frets. Okay, so that, that's in effect what I'm going to be doing pretty much or oh, for about the, the, the certainly up to 12th fret and possibly a bit further. So let me do some of that and uh, come back and show you how we've got on. Okay, so I've now worked up well, pretty much the whole length of the fretboard and reprofiled these, these frets. Uh, but as you can probably see, I've just left some indentation in the fretboard. A um, couple of reasons. One is I, I know I'm now going to just give this a very light dressing, light leveling along the, the top of the fretboard, which will just take out some of these marks. Uh, but, but equally, I'm wanting to take, take off as little of the height of the frets as possible. Uh, and so I'm just, just leaving this in, in for now. Uh, I think by, by, by the time I've polished these frets and, and finished all the work on this, those, those marks will have, will have gone completely. Uh, so yeah, let's now move on to some fret leveling. So I've set the guitar in this jig that I use, which just allows me to control uh, the neck, particularly its straightness when working on, on frets. And by tweaking the truss rod, I've just set the neck so that it's perfectly straight. Yep, that's fine. Uh, I'm now going to, to work it up and down the frets, leveling them with this fine diamond stone. Some people use leveling beams. I do from time to time use leveling beam as well. Uh, I like to use a diamond stone because it allows me to work on particular frets and concentrate on those frets. And as I do this, I can see that the, the indentations are already starting to disappear. Not completely, but very nearly there. So I'm just gonna work up and down the fretboard until I'm happy that I've level the frets uh, and taking uh, the frets down by, by as, as much as I need to, but no more than I need to.
So this fret levering job is now complete. The frets are nicely shaped. All that flatness they had on the top of them has gone. Nicely polished, very, very smooth. There's still one or two string indentations left a lot along the fretboard, but that was a discussion I had with the owner's guitar that we wouldn't try and eliminate these completely, otherwise I think we'd be taking the frets down too low. So when you these frets were 1.4 millimeters tall, and we're now down to, yeah, pretty much bang on one millimeter. I think any, any lower than that, um, and these frets would then just become a bit, bit harder to play, a bit harder to make chords and true, true notes, string bending would be a bit harder. So I think we got the compromise just about right in this. So fretboard's been oiled. All that needs to be done now is to put the strings on, do a final setup, um, and job done. Yep, very happy with that.